this is Alejandro with GSC, and today we're going to take a look at how to split faces. There are many reasons for wanting to split faces. Typically, you see this in mold design uh, in order to create parting lines. Uh, in my case, I just want to split face in order to create an interesting logo or decal on one of my parts. So here you can see I have an assembly of a vise. And what I want to do is I want to add a logo to the right side of my vise. So I'm going to go ahead and open up just uh, this base part. And in this base part, you'll see that I already have a sketch. Currently it's hidden, so I'll go ahead and show it. And you'll also see that I have an axis, and that's because I'm going to pattern this feature once I split my face. So let me go ahead and show you how to split a face. So in order to split a face, you have to use a command called split line. Here I'm going to use my uh, command search bar, and I'm going to select split line. If you actually want to see where exactly it's located, you can always hit this little eyelid. And you can see it's under your curves shortcut. So I'm going to hit split line. Here there are several options for splitting faces. The option that I use most frequently and that I'm going to use now is going to be the projection option. So first it's going to ask me which sketch do I want to project. So I go ahead and select this sketch. Next, it wants to say, okay, what faces do you want to split? You can actually select one or multiple faces. I'll go ahead and select one single face, which would be this face. And I'll select okay. If I hide my sketch momentarily, you'll see what happened. Now I have a separate face. So I can select this face or this face. Next, I'm going to pattern my split line feature in order to create sort of a cool logo. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my circular pattern command. For direction here, I'm going to pattern this about this axis that I already had created. For features and faces, I want to select this face. So I'm going to pattern that split line feature that I created. And I'm going to select OK. And notice what happens. Here I have several uh, separate faces that were created and I can select them very easily. Notice that if I hide my part, there are no remaining surfaces showing. That's because this, these are not extra surfaces. And I can verify that by the fact that there's no surface bodies. There's only one solid body. So this actually split the existing face. It did not create a new surface. So I just want to clarify that. Another important item to notice was that the faces that were split were only split on this face. Uh, if you look at my pattern, you'll see that I only have this sort of partial split here. Uh, only part of my sketch uh, was actually used to split this current face. And that's because I have to, I only, told SOLIDWORKS to split this face. So if I want to actually show the full pattern for these two instances, I can go back into my split line feature. And under faces to split, I can also add an additional face. And you'll see that now I have all my instances fully shown. So next, now that my faces are split, I can assign different appearances to each one of those faces, which was my ultimate goal. So I'm going to go into appearances. I am going to clear right now. It wants to change the appearance of the entire part. So if I select the color, you'll see the entire part. That's not what I want. I want to change. I'm going to clear this out. I want to change the appearance of just selected faces. So for the faces, that I want to change. Let's say, let's pick this blue color. We're gonna change the color of this face, this face as well, and this face. I'll select OK. I'll do this one more time. Now 
Next, I'm gonna add some white color or a white appearance to specified faces. So I'm gonna select this face, this face. It's actually more of a gray, that's okay. And then finally, for my other two split faces, I'm going to make them black. So I'll clear this, I'll select, select faces, I'll make them black, and I'll go ahead and select them. And just like that, now I have an interesting logo or, or icon that I created that's on my part. If I go back to my assembly, you can now see that logo as well. So that is how you can split faces in SOLIDWORKS. And in my case, I use them to create an interesting uh, design directly on my model faces. This has been Alejandro with GSC. Thank you for watching.